starts now. Alexa Zuna and today is January 26th. As we all know, 2020 was the craziest year so far. So this is our goodbye to 2020. You believe when I was 18, I had a silver dollar collection? <laughs> you know, I couldn't bring myself to spend one of these. I got some kind of a phobia. The duties of the office on which I am about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. And the Emmy for Outstanding Game Show host goes to... Alex Trebek! Now, I don't know about you, but I'm pretty happy that 2021 is here. Because, you know, let's just say 2020 was not the move. But I'm pretty sure that we can all agree that even though we had to change up our lives a lot and, like, it's nowhere near what it was before, I think it's still... We can make this work, guys. We can make 2021 a great year. And I'm just hoping that that's exactly what we do. And pretty soon, everything will start going back to normal. So just don't worry about that. And just try to make it the best you can. Let's have a great year. During this time, it's very difficult to stay positive. So why don't we ask Shane and Daniel for some help? Oh my god. Man. <laughs> What's wrong, Daniel? You don't look so hot. You know, Shade. Ever since quarantine, it's been so long, man. It's just like, I just want to see my family members, you know, but they live in certain cities that where you can't even go visit them, you know? You know? I know how you feel, Daniel. And, you know, there's certain things you I think you can do that might improve your mindset to get you in the right place so you're school ready. Now, you got to have a growth mindset, Daniel. You got to remember that all the good times you had with your family and think of all the times that you'll have ahead of now. This is just like a little road bump we just, we're just we just stuck in. You know, we can't get out. Well, I guess it's more of like a ditch then, but, yeah. you know... I have so many experiences with my friends and families and you know, it might be sad to some people that saying they can't have more of those memories, but just remembering what you have now and then what you'll have in the future. The bright future we have on our hands, Daniel, as young adults means so much of what we could actually do with what we have now 
and what we will do because we live through this hard time and as a community as a school we came together to learn that just proves of how how dedicated we are as students and another thing you can do to just put yourself in the right mindset is go outside you know i walk my dog almost every day and it helps me do with those those feelings I get when I feel like I'm stuck inside the house, you know, I'm able to go outside. I don't get to do that a lot because of quarantine. But if I follow the rules and wear my mask and I go outside, I could just have so much fun walking my dog. Another thing that I do, Daniel, is I like to hike. I go up to Springville and, you know, I follow the quarantine rules and I go up the mountain. And it just feels invigorating once I get to the top. Thank you, Shane. I really appreciate it. I feel a little bit better now. Next will be February staff birthdays. Happy early birthday to everyone who has a birthday in February. For our Marauder Spotlight this week, we will be talking to Itzel Ortiz. Hi, my name is Salton Ortiz, and I am one of the funding members for CareOf2020.org. Okay, and so what made you want to what made you want to start this organization in the first place? CareOf2020.org is based off horrible and life threatening events that have happened in the year of 2020. As we know, 2020 was a rough year and we saw many injustices going on into the system. And we saw how many people wanted to help to fix these injustices, hence to why we began this project because we wanted to help in whichever way, whether it was giving spotlight on the issue or fundraising money to help them have more funds into correcting or teaching other members in society of the issue that's going on in the U.S. Okay, so, and what what's your purpose out of this whole organization? The purpose all started because we wanted to help fix um, some racial issues, such as the thing that happened with George Floyd, unfortunately. Um, that's why we began this whole project, just to give more spotlight. But we then further expanded to see more of the issues that were going on during the year of 2020, such as the Valley Children's Hospital, who has very a lot of sick, sick children and sometimes families can't, you know, pay for the fees or get the help the children need, hence to why we chose that organization as well. And Help Guide, which is a mental institution, not in that sense, but it helps you, it guides you and gives you like class meditation and everything to help with being isolated because of the pandemic. And we have another project that we supported which was the Trevor Project, which is for the LGBTQ plus community because we know that in our high school, we have a club that supports them and we wanted to help as well, help further expand that. And obviously we have Black Lives Matter. Um, but we were hoping in the future that we could expand to you know other issues such as DACA, DACA <laughs> the DREAM Act and other other things that are in need of spotlight for the society crisis. So that's why we began, and that's our purpose, to give spotlight to these organizations and help them fundraise funds to further their um, knowledge on why it's being affected. Okay, do you have anything else to say or more information to add on itself? Um, well, I just wanted to add that our mission statement, um, it basically tells whoever visits our site what our purpose is and the organizations, if you click on them, it'll 
directly lead you to the website if you want to learn more about each individual organization. Um, it'd be great if you guys supported us. Um, I know it's kind of a hard year, and it's still we entered into a, a new beginning, but we never know. So I just would like to thank everybody who has supported, and thank you so much, Daniela, for taking some of your time to give us this interview. No, you're welcome. Thank you for giving me your time. Well, thank you, Itzel, and I hope your organization thrives and goes well this year. Thank you. Right, thank you. Bye. Bye. Have a nice day. You too.